it was 24 years ago when the bubble burst, right? So it's it's like uh, the old cynical saying on Wall Street is, you know, every 25 years, the sheep need to be shorn. You know, there's no institutional memory. There's tons of new investors out there that don't remember the last tech bubble. Like you said, right, some investors do, you know, more my generation or older, but you know, the younger generation, they don't know anything about a tech bubble. They don't know about a lost decade where you have the S&P 500 return a negative annual rate of return for 10 years. Well, I would argue even those who went through it, forget it. And I mean, it's like, it's like everything comes full circle. Like you couldn't have things line up almost the same. In 1998, the Fed unnecessarily cut interest rates, just like they're gonna do today. <laughs> that added fuel to the fire. You had one company that was supplying all the, the networking equipment for the internet. You have Michael Saylor with his company MicroStrategy that just bought like more Bitcoin than like any company on earth. His company lost more money in the dot-com bubble than almost like any other company in 